several years, the generous support of the Palestroni Foundation has had a tremendous impact on both students and faculty at Ramapo College. The Adaptive Technology Computer Lab serves students with a range of physical, sensory, psychological, and learning disabilities. Students can use the adaptive technologies in the lab to help with their coursework. Missy Long is an independent living counselor in the Office of Specialized Services. Students that affiliate with our office are sometimes provided with accommodations or support services that require adaptive technology of some kind. Um, for example, if a student is blind or has a significant visual impairment, um, we would uh, scan their books for them or get them in an alternate format um, so they could hear it auditorily. Uh, technology is also very helpful for students who have learning disabilities of various kinds. Um, a lot of times students who have learning issues have difficulty with either comprehension um, or spelling and the writing process and we have a technology called Kurzweil which is a form of software that um, enables students to access their, their books or their assignments or even the um, WordPerfect or words so they can read or hear the assignments they've written. Stephen is one of the students who uses the lab. I am not only an OSS student, but I also work at the Adaptive Technology Lab. Um, part of my duties of working here is I give demonstrations of certain technologies, such as the smart pen, which as you write in class, it records what the professor is saying, and it records it based on where you're writing in the notebook. So you can point to your notes and it'll say what the teacher was saying at that time. Uh, other technologies is Kurzweil, which one is, is one of the most popular softwares um, at the technology lab. Uh, what that does is it reads a textbook aloud or a student could read along with it. Um, as a student, I also use that myself, even though I don't have a vision disability, I find it helps my reading comprehension. Students also use the space to take tests and study. Um, the lab is used for a lot of different purposes. Um, it's uh, definitely a steady site for students. When they come, they have a break between classes. It's quiet, they can use the computer, all the technology that's available, but it's also used for students to socialize, and we use it in terms of doing test proctoring as well. Um, I never feel like people are watching me or pressured or anything. It's always a nice place to go to, and even just doing homework and studying, I always come here and just take my mind off everything else and focus on my work. Most recently, a major gift from the Palestroni Foundation has been used to fund a developmental neuroscience lab, including a soundproof EEG room, adjacent control room, and equipment. Psychology professor Dr. Nassim Chaudhry and her students will be using the lab to track the ability of very young children to process sound and determine whether this ability is a precursor to language impairment or a disability such as dyslexia later on. The studies that I look at are looking at how children who have developmental disabilities, particularly language-based developmental disabilities, how they come to have those kinds of disorders. Dr. Chaudhry's research will help develop markers for language impairments in very young children. So the idea for me was to go back to infancy and try to figure out how you stop this huge cascade of developmental changes that take place when kids have possibly a simple problem. Most importantly, the lab gives Ramapo undergraduate students the opportunity to gain valuable hands-on experience they wouldn't otherwise gain until graduate school. Well, one of the ideas of putting this grant together and getting this facility at an undergraduate institution like Ramapo was specifically so that we could train Ramapo undergraduates to take the skills that they learn in psychology, in science, in neuroscience, particularly electrophysiology and take that, learn something here, do a project, become competent scientists. The support of the Palestroni Foundation has had a direct and significant impact on the students and faculty of Ramapo College. From helping students who have physical and learning disabilities, to facilitating groundbreaking research in the field of language disorders.